is, is the voyeur, right? So the voyeur is an archetype that is alive in all of us, right? I've not seen or met one person who doesn't have the voyeur in their kink profile, right? It's one of my favorites. So a voyeur is, or voyeurism is when someone likes to watch, right? So a voyeur is someone who likes to watch. Now, we look at this through the lens of life, but and it does and can happen sexually as well, right? Knowing that both, both is true, right? So we look at this and to know that, okay, when we speak about and we integrate these kink archetypes, yes, they are sexual archetypes, but also they have absolutely nothing to do with sex and they are very much alive in every area of our lives, right? So the voyeur is someone who likes to watch. Now, the voyeur as an archetype, you go, so let's talk about the, let's talk about the false power of the voyeur first, right? So the false power of the voyeur archetype is someone who is on the train, sitting on the seat, going, yeah, look at this. Isn't this awesome, right? Like they're looking at what's the scenery going by and they're looking at the people walking by. They're listening to the conversations or they're listening to the world go by, right? They're watching the world go by, forgetting that they're actually in it, right? So this is where the false power would be you become a bystander in your own life, right? So this is a really, it's a beautiful one and it's a common one and the false power of it is very much alive, right? It's like, it's like, yeah, this is my play, right? This is my play, but yet I've just given myself like no role in it whatsoever. I'm sitting in the audience of my own play. Right. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm running this uh, like, you know, so Brene Brown would probably say, you know, like they're not even in the arena of their own life. Right. So we're watching the world go by. So, which is not necessarily a bad thing. However, it can be the, the, the dangerous kind of territory is, oh my God, I get like, sorry, I just said, <laughs> Like I love and I receive so much pleasure from watching everybody else succeed, from watching everybody else be happy, from just loving just the world, the juiciness of the world. I love it. Like I love, I get off on watching all this happen. But without me injecting myself into the world right? Without me being fully in it as well, right? Knowing that, okay, the world looks totally different and you just like feel into that for a moment is to the difference between like, okay, like I'm watching someone, I'm watching someone at a dance party dancing, right? Like, so think about, okay, like I'm watching them dance and oh my goodness, they're having such a great time and you can feel the smile on your face. They're going like, man, they are having such a good time. I'm loving just watching them have a great time, right? Is very different to you being on the dance floor, dancing with them and having a great time, right? So one is almost like the energy is happening outside of you and one is the energy is moving through you. You're actually a part of the energy because you're in it, right? It's a completely different sensation. It's a completely different feeling. It's a completely different arousal and stimulation point in the body. Totally different, right? Totally different. So we go, okay, not only that is real. And so that's the false power of the voyeur, right, is really very much in a nutshell, 
You're a bystander in your own life because you're really just getting off on watching everyone else succeed, watching everyone else in their pleasure, right? So that's really the false power. However, the false power, another false power of the voyeur, and this is really just kind of beginning to land for me in a really new way over the last week, Um so the voyeur also has another false power in that. And let me just tune into this just to feel what wants to come through. So, okay, what do I want to say? So another false power of, of the voyeur is... is actually being discom discomfortable, <laughs> uncomfortable with other people succeeding. Right? So there can be a there can be a part of us that feels like everyone else is happy except for me. Everyone else is succeeding except for me. What am I doing wrong? what am I doing wrong? And this actually hurts me. And, you know, you can feel the discomfort. You can feel the doubt start to seep in to go, why can't I have that? Right. And so then it's the willingness of going, okay, being okay with watching people succeed. Right. So see how it's a completely different energy right? It's a completely different energy, but that is absolutely a false power of, of the voyeur because of what it's doing is it's creating separation, right? It's creating separation. It's creating resentment. It's creating frustration and very much like the, the, the quote that I shared with, with you guys yesterday, um, was you know is about it's it's a trait of the people pleaser right because i'm so busy trying to please everybody and then that enables resentment right and entitlement right so that's so there's a, there's another false power of the voyeur that can look like yes so I'm, I'm happy for you to go and I'm happy for you to live your life and be, be, and be successful and I, I will cheer you on as long as I'm experiencing the exact same, right? Totally different. So we can see how like, and this is a sneaky one, like this is such a sneaky part of the voyeur that we really don't give air time to because that's the part that we actually really want to suppress and ignore. Mm. That part that we go, oh, God, I don't want to be that person. I don't want to be that person who like, no, like I want to be the cheerleader. I don't want to be like, come on. I don't want to be that person. But, oh, my God, I actually totally am sometimes. I totally am. We all are. And we'll be lying to ourselves if we said we weren't that person. That can be really confronting. Confronting to just feel that about yourself. Like you go, fuck, I don't want to be that person. You know, and it's like it hurts your heart to go, I don't want to fucking be that person. No, I don't want to be that person. You know, I was saying, I was saying last week in to the apprentices is like, you know, it's like, I don't want to be the best, the, the best somatic kink practitioner. I don't want to be the like I want to bow at the feet of all the other practitioners. I want to bow at their feet. I want to be the person that helps them get there right? Whether they become practitioners or not, whether they do the work or not, knowing that they've journeyed through it and they've entered, like, I want that. 
I want to bow at the feet of others, you know, and that. And so just beginning this completely different dialogue, but it starts with recognizing that false power, right? That false power, because in that, you go, okay, you feel that. I'm really happy for you, but I really wish that was me. It's like, whoa. It automatically, you go into protection, right? It's this invisible wall that comes up. And then it happens over here and then another invisible wall comes up. And then it happens over here and then another invisible wall comes up. And all of a sudden you're going, why do I feel so separate and disconnected to everybody? Right? It's a part of the voyeur, the false power of the voyeur that is really unspoken about and unseen. And one that is like not even swept under the rug, like it's under the floorboards and bolted down, right? Because we don't want to see that part of ourselves. We don't want to acknowledge that part of ourselves. But when we do, we can actually begin to move it and transmute it and create a new dialogue and a new relationship with it that can actually be really beautiful. So I feel really excited that we get to experience that, right? We get to experience that. Um, yeah. And for, and for the first time. For the first time. So for you and like, for you know, and when the others catch the replay, like it's, it's the first time that we're integrating, that anyone is integrating and embodying the voyeur. So I feel really beyond excited because it's, I feel like I say it all the time, but it's like my favourite <laughs> I do have a soft spot for the voyeur because I know it's in everybody's kink profile. It's in all of us. Um, so let's talk about the power of it. The power of the voyeur is just extraordinary. Like the voyeur is the person who is like both running the race and also like just stopping to like give people high fives as they go, you know. And so it's just this beautiful, just everyone's in the arena, everyone's in the race and we just get to be like, yeah, let's do this together. Like, look at you going. That's awesome. And I'm here I am doing my thing and I'm doing my and we're all moving right? We're all in the race and we're all cheering each other on, right? And just going, yeah, we're all in it. We're all equally invested in it. We're all equally invested in each other. So, yep, like I am, like I'm loving, I'm getting off on watching you run your race. I'm absolutely loving it and I'm high-fiving you and I receive so much pleasure from that, but I am also in the race. I am also in the race. And I am very much in my own lane. I am in my own lane and I'm not even tempted to cross over the lanes and go do what you're doing or go over here for a little bit. Oh, look over there. That's great. And I'll go and do what you're doing. And like, we're just spiraling from like, like going in and out of all the lanes. Nah, I'm just in my lane. I'm just in my lane because I know in my lane, it has its own obstacles. It has its own treasure. It has its own jewels. It has everything in my own lane that is meant for me. I don't even need your lane. I don't even need it because I know that in my lane, everything is laid out for me anyway. And this lane for all of us has no end has no finishing finishing line. We are fucking in it together. We are in it together. 
And sometimes we can go, oh, hang on a minute. You've got this coming up ahead in your lane. Did you see that? Yep, I, I got you. Like, here we go. I'll just like kick it out of the way. I'll just like, I'll, I'll, I'll like help lift you up to get over it, right? I'll help, I'll, I'll help you. But you're in your lane and I'm in my lane, but fuck, we're in it together, right? And that's beautiful. And that's beautiful. And that's, you know, that's what it's about. That's the power of the voyeur. And it just feels fucking extraordinary and beautiful. And I feel so ready for it, right? And it's just this space of just opening up and going, you know what? Like, we are worthy of it, right? So just go, yeah, okay, like I have my own lane. Like I have my own lane. I don't need to be on the bench. I don't need to be in the auditorium. I don't need to be in the coaching rooms. I'm in the race. I'm in the race and I'm here with everybody else. And we're going to be in it together, right? We're going to be in it together and just honour the lane that's in front of us and that is the most honoring and sacred and beautiful thing that we can do for ourselves right so the voyeur is absolutely delicious like so good so good and the voyeur can teach us so much about ourselves, right? So much because it can be so decadent and sweet and delicious to taste and experience. But it can also be really bitter and hard to swallow. But knowing that the beauty of what I love about, about the voyeur is we're going to know, right? This feels, oh, it feels bitter. I don't like how this tastes. Oh, that's right. Because I'm tasting something that wasn't even in my lane. Oh, okay, I'll get back in my lane, right? So we can actually navigate that much better because it will be, a, oh, this is bitter. This doesn't taste so good. Oh, that's right. All right. That's right. Oh, yeah. I'm in my lane. I'm in the race. Yeah, yeah. That's right. I remember. 